What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to convert any mesh into a metahuman in literally 5 minutes. So let's get started. Alright so the first thing that you are going to need is your model imported into your uh, project. In my case I'm going to be using this uh, model. It's actually facing uh, an incorrect way but it doesn't matter because you're going to see later that uh, it will depend on our camera position. So yeah, I just downloaded this one from Sketchfab. All right, so the next thing that we are going to need is just to download the MetaHuman plugin. Okay, so just go into the marketplace and just uh, download. Then you just need to go to edit plugins. You search for MetaHuman and you just basically enable it. And it's an experimental, so just have that in mind, but it, it works very good. And then just go ahead and say restart the editor, so you will do. And also make sure that you have the latest version of the Quixel bridge and that you are signed in. All right, so now with all that uh, done, let's go ahead and actually start. So what we need to do is just go here and create a human identity. Okay, it's how it's called. So uh, name it how you want. In my case, I'm going to name it uh, tutorial metahuman identity, but name it how you want and go ahead and open it. And okay, we'll have this window, okay? So basically to add our mesh into this um, you know, asset, what we have to do is just go up here into components from mesh and search it. In my case, it's up here. So you just go ahead and select it. And you can see that it's actually placed in here. So once we add it, it will actually appear here and we will have all the components set up. So uh, right now you, I mentioned that my you know character is facing the wrong way. Anyway, your one is probably gonna be facing the right way, so just be like just in front looking at you. So in my case, I you have to go ahead and just put me in front of him, but you know, uh, you can go ahead and iterate this. So go ahead and just put it in a good angle, okay? Um, it's gonna be a bit tricky, but you know, try your best. And what's gonna be better for you is just as you go into the lid here and select on lid. It will make the shadows pretty much disappear and it will be better for your character and the tracking system okay if you use a cartoon character maybe it's not gonna be the best option as the textures are not gonna be so well defined so go ahead and just test it and if it looks real cool uh, you you basically have no problem all right so now what we have to do is just go into the neutral post component here and what we have to do is just go down here and add a keyframe, okay? Well, a frame, like a you know screenshot frame, pretty much. And we'll create this frame zero. So now just right click into it and you say auto tracking on. And you can see it will actually create a tracking uh, that will be actually pretty nice just at once, okay? Uh, the first time that you probably will do this, it will take a just it's a while, just a bit. But because this is my uh, second time doing it in the sprite, I just did it real quick. So you can go ahead and just modify, um, you know, different points. But in my case, it actually did it real good and probably for you too, so you know. So now what we have to do is just go here and say meta human identity solve and it will basically create the mesh. So just press here. And now if we actually go here and just say B, you can see that actually it has created a meta human model using our mesh. So that's really cool. It did it like in two seconds. So that's really cool. So now what we have to do is go into the body. So this is pretty much the last step and select the body. I guess I'm just going to choose the first one here, but you will, you know, you can choose the one that will fit better into your character. Uh, also the height. Okay. Uh, I just going to leave it like that. And then the last thing you have to do is just say here mesh to meta human press here and um, like i said you need to go ahead and log in into your quixel bridge and have the latest version so you just have that in mind and yeah uh, if not i think it will actually just ask you to log in but anyway it might take just a bit all right and this window will pop up saying your meta human is now available in the creator and bridge in my meta human section okay so now if we press ok we can actually go up here into window. You say Quixel Bridge. And this will open up. Make sure that you are actually logged in. And then you can just go into the MetaHumans. My MetaHumans. And basically we'll have uh, this new icon. 
I have uh, two in here, another one in here because I was, you know, testing before the video. But basically, this one it is the tutorial metahuman identity. So just go ahead and click it and press on start MHC. And this will basically go ahead and open up the metahuman creator online. So in here, we'll basically finish up customizing our character. You say launch latest uh, metahuman creator. I actually made a video creating a metahuman from zero in more detail. So if you want to check it out, I will be leaving it in the description. Okay, once it's open, you can go ahead and see that we have here tutorial metahuman identity in my metahuman section. So let's go ahead and click it and say edit selected. Okay. And now we can go ahead and you say, for example, face from. And it will actually be displaying the animation. This totally rigged is so cool. Look at this. This from an actual customized mesh. So that is that's really cool. So now uh, we can actually, you know, uh, customize everything like as we would do in a normal metahuman. And they actually have this custom mesh thing where you can go ahead and change, you know, the influence of the mesh into the normal metahuman type of you know uh you know uh, mesh too okay so you can go ahead and just play with that in my case i'm just gonna leave it like this it's pretty cool and uh, i'm gonna skip right in into the skin so we need to assign and then just go ahead and move and you select a skin and then basically it will be displayed in your character so really cool <laughs> You can go ahead and change all sorts of stuff like if you would uh, like i mentioned i have a more detailed amount human creation tutorial and you know you just go ahead and make it as you want i mean you can go ahead and, and select the hair that we would want and it's really cool we can customize it as we want so yeah guys i'm gonna be leaving this video here if you enjoyed please like and subscribe um i really appreciate all your support we're really near of reaching 1k subscribers so please help me out reaching this goal very soon also please leave a comment on what mana humans are you planning to do and also what more tutorials you want to see and with all that said bye bye